Today to be a Georgia Bulldog. Thank you for being here to welcome UGA's new men's head basketball coach, Mike White. Today, we celebrate the arrival of a proven leader, a winner who has succeeded on the biggest stages of college basketball. I first became familiar with Coach White when, as a head coach, he led Louisiana Tech to a victory over UGA here in this Stegman Coliseum in 2014 in the NIT. In the years since, I have followed his career closely as he's distinguished himself as one of college basketball's most successful coaches and, of course, most recently with the Florida Gators. L let me say the obvious. I will enjoy his winning ways much more now that he is our coach. Mike has achieved unquestionable success in his 11 years as a head coach. And in recognition of his outstanding leadership, Coach White has been named SEC Coach of the Year, Conference USA Coach of the Year, and WAC Coach of the Year. This morning, I received a very thoughtful note from Bernie Machen, the President Emeritus of the University of Florida. I overlapped with Bernie early in my tenure as president and got to know him well at our SEC president's meetings. And this is what he wrote to me. Mike White is a great hire from the perspective of a university president. He represents his university extremely well, and he does everything the right way. I am thrilled to welcome to UGA a coach with Mike's integrity, character, and competitive excellence. He will make an extraordinary impact on the University of Georgia and our outstanding student athletes. To Mike, Kira, Riley, Maggie, Colin, Keegan, and Dylan, welcome to the Bulldog Nation. And now join me in welcoming our athletic director, Josh Brooks. Good afternoon. Thank you all for being here. I know President Moore had already said it, but I'm going to say it again. It's a great day to be a Georgia Bulldog. You know, when we started this process, we were looking for someone who was a leader of men and a proven winner, and we found both in Coach Mike White. President Moorhead, I'd like to thank you for your leadership during this search and your visionary leadership that helps us make the University of Georgia and our athletic department the best in the nation. Thank you. I'd also like to thank Doris Griffith and Mike Raber and my entire executive staff team uh, for all their work during this search process. I know it was quick and they put a lot of work in, so for them I say thank you as well. It is my honor and privilege to tell you more about Coach White. First of all, he's a coach's coach. When you speak to other ADs, other administrators, coaches, former players across the country, you get the same comments over and over. He's a man with high integrity, who does things the right way. He loves his student athletes, he cares about them, he mentors, he grows them. And above all else, he will represent the University of Georgia with class at all times. I said on day one of this job that our expectation is to compete for championships in all 21 sports and we are on our way to do so. Now it's time for basketball, and that commitment starts with myself. 
It starts in the athletic department. It's our student athletes, it's our staff. It's the university, the faculty, the staff of the university, the student body, the city of Athens, the state of Georgia, Bulldog Nation everywhere. We need everyone to be all in for Georgia basketball. The first step of that process starts right here in Stegman Coliseum. I know the classic city is known as being a hospitable place, but we've got to make Stegman Coliseum the most intimidating place to play, not only in the SEC, but in the entire nation. And again, that requires all of you, every game, to be here, make noise, be loud, and starts with you, the student body right there. I've always been a little superstitious. I've never been a fan of doing much on March 15th. Obviously, the reference to the Ides of March, beware of the Ides of March. But you know what? Not today. Because today, March 15th, 2022, I want to let everyone know in the country to beware of the University of Georgia men's basketball program because the dogs are coming. Dog Nation, please welcome the 23rd head men's basketball coach in Georgia history, Mike White. I'm new to this bark. Can I hear a couple more of those barks? That's all you got? That's it? That is awesome. What a turnout. Thank you guys so much for coming out, supporting the dogs today. It was really neat to get a chance to meet a bunch of very, very influential Bulldogs uh, back in one of these uh, conference rooms here. I'm, I'll, I'll learn this building, of course, a little bit better here over time, but uh, some of you all who traveled a long way uh, and made another commitment to this university and to this program, and I'm very, very thankful. It was great to meet a lot of you, uh, and I look forward to spending more time. Dog Pound, how cool is this? What a turnout. You guys are awesome. I cannot wait to spend time with you, learn more about you, develop some individual relationships, see what I can do to help you. But this has got to be less hospitable. Josh said it. This place has got to be raucous, and I've seen it raucous. Uh, this home game this year against Auburn was off the charts. Let's do it more often, right? Let's do it more often. I can't wait to be a very small part of it. It's a proud tradition, a proud brand, a proud athletic department, an unbelievable community. I'm a family guy. First and foremost, more than anything in life, those are the most important people to me. And I, and I feel family when I'm here. It's hard to move a family. My incredible wife, Kira, my best friend, already been ordained a saint, dealing with that crew, as you can imagine, in the Spring Hill Suites last night. I'm sure we'll have some fines. There's probably some broken furniture. 
It was brutal. You guys want to introduce yourselves? Colin, Keegan, Rai Rai, raise your hands. Maggie, Dylan. But she runs it. They're introverted like their mom. But, but Kira runs it, and it's hard to move a family. And if, if the perception of this community wasn't what it was, if the feeling that, that we get walking around this community and meeting with a bunch of the Bulldogs, if that feeling wasn't what it was, we wouldn't be here. This is a family place, and we're proud to be a part of this family. First off, President Moorhead and Josh Brooks, I really appreciate the very, very kind words, the unbelievable welcome. As excited as, as we, we were to be here, we continue to be more and more excited uh, to be able to, to lead a special men's basketball program in an elite athletic department. This was a very, very hard decision, obviously, but one that we're incredibly excited about. Again, the community, the brand, the academics, the fertile recruiting base, the history. This is a place we feel very, very blessed to be. Our teams are going to play very, very hard. We're going to be disciplined. We're going to be selfless. We're going to play to win. We're going to recruit hard. We're going to coach hard. We're going to have successful, productive practices. We're going to have a family environment. We're going to love one another in our program. We're going to be brutally honest with one another. We're going to grow as young men. We're all going to be better leaders every day. I believe in the commitment that Josh and President Moorhead have to this program, the upside, the ceiling, the potential, and it is going to happen. It is going to happen here at Georgia, and I'm committed to helping them make that happen. I would like to thank, at the University of Florida, President Kent Fox, Jeremy Foley, who initially hired me, and Scott Strickland, who's been very, very supportive to my family and I. It's a new chapter for us, a new challenge, a unique challenge, one that I cannot express in words how excited I am to attack. Go dogs! let's go, baby. Coach, now we would like to give you a chance to answer a few pressing questions from our media members in attendance. Our first question will go to Mike Griffith. Media members, if you have a question, raise your hand. We'll get you a while. There's Mike. Thanks. Uh, Coach, at Florida, I think you took the Gators to four of the six NCAA tournaments possible. What are the first steps for you to establish Georgia's new basketball identity, and what will it take for Georgia to become an annual NCAA tournament uh, a participant? We've got to build. We, we've got to build. It, it, it's not going to happen overnight. We've got to grow. We've got to get better. We've got to get better offensively. We've got to better, get better defensively. Um, our chemistry, our basketball character, uh, our level of accountability is all got to be elite in this league to be competitive. This is now the best basketball league in college basketball. We have the potential to get it done. We are going to get it done. And then hopefully in a few years, I'm being asked questions about maintaining it. Coach uh, Chip Towers, Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Uh, just wonder when about did, did you decide that you may be interested in making a move? And, and kind of can you give us a little bit of a timeline as to when this decision was made for you? It happened Sunday. I mean, it literally happened within a day. Um, was excited to get a call um, that Josh wanted to have a conversation. 
Josh reached out. We had a really productive conversation with, uh, with, with he and, and President Moorhead and, uh, and, the, and the cabinet, uh, the search committee. Um, we had a really lengthy conversation. Um, and from there, again, it, was, it moved very, very quick. And I jumped at it. I, just to be blunt with you, I, I just jumped at the opportunity. And before you know it, six, eight hours later, Kira and I were sitting these kids down telling them that we're moving to Athens, Georgia. Anybody got a seven bedroom? My Jordan Hill with Dogs 247. It's very rare that we see coaches move within the SEC. Just what was it like sort of going through this process and what convinced you that this was the right move for you? Sure. Um, I've been I've been asked that and, and I've and I've thought that right and, and as you as you're always evaluating the, the the college basketball industry it is a little bit more rare for what reason I don't know you know at the end of the day people move from this league to that league um, sometimes people move up sometimes move people move laterally sometimes people move down. And whether it's in a different league or your current league, I don't know at the end of the day whether or not that's a factor. For me, this is not about the, the place that I was. This is about Georgia. This is about an opportunity and a place that I really wanted to be. Hey, hey Mike, uh, Mark Weiser with the Athens Banner Herald. Joshua was talking about having everybody all in in Georgia basketball. Did you need some assurances that the commitment was here, that the resources were here to make you comfortable? Absolutely. Yes. Um, everything that I was looking for, everything that I wanted to hear, I, I have heard and I have seen. Uh, and that, that continued today throughout all of the meetings I've had with a bunch of uh, these administrators. Um, had a really, really productive day. And I already feel like, to a certain extent, we've, we've already hit the ground running. We've got a lot of work to do, obviously. And uh, as a family, we've got to get settled. We've, we've got to um, uh, get a staff in place. We've got to get to the point where we've got a little bit of normalcy. But when we do, um, I, I, I'm going to be about as happy a camper as there is. I'm just, uh, I'm just fired up to get to that point. Hey, Coach, this is Lance McCurley with the Lake Oconee News. When you faced this team earlier this year, what were some things that you saw out of them on the court that they liked? You know, first off, I, I just, it's such a hard league now, and, and it's even the non-conference schedules, it's, it's part of the increase in production and, and analytics and, and numbers, so on and so forth, the postseason opportunities uh, with the Southeastern Conference and the fact that we're all scheduling very, very difficulty. Uh, difficultly, excuse me. And uh, as I was talking, I, I, I ran into uh, to Jabri uh, earlier today, and we talked about the, the injuries that these guys have had and, and some of the injuries that, that we had, and everyone's dealing with stuff. Um, it's tough. Night in and night out, you're playing high, high-level teams. Um, because Georgia didn't win the SEC this year doesn't mean that they weren't a very good team. You know what I mean? Uh, this is in incredibly difficult. Um, we had our deficiencies. Just about every team in our league has some deficiencies. Obviously, we've got to tighten up a little bit in, in some areas. Um, I look forward to, to studying film a little bit more and, and moving, uh, you know, you know starting, starting backward and, and, and breaking stuff down defensively, offensively, on the glass. But, um, you know, we can sit here and talk about deficiencies, too. There's a, there's a, there's a lot of good players over here, you know, and, and from everything that I hear, really good young men. Um, and I thought that they did a lot of things really, really well. But there's just a fine line. There's a fine line, man, between, uh, between winning and losing. And, um, and we're here to, to try to help facilitate that. Hey, Coach. Palmer Toms, Dogs HQ. Uh, obviously, recruiting is such a big part in building a program. From afar, what have you noticed about the state of Georgia in recruiting, and what's going to be your approach to that? I think the state of Georgia is is as fertile as any state in the country, in the country to recruit to. Um, I've known that for a long time. It's why that 
when you come recruit the state of Georgia, you often see universities represented from a lot of different places throughout the country. And so we're going to recruit nationally, uh, but obviously we're going to recruit, we're going to start here in this state and in Atlanta and um, in greater Atlanta, obviously, and, and hit all the high schools throughout this state. And then we're also going to recruit the rest of the Southeast. And, and again, I, I think that this, this brand is so strong that uh, you can go a lot of places in this country uh, and, and Georgia resonates. Mike, Dean Luggy from Dog Post on the end. When you and your wife got together to tell your children, because looking from the age, they look like they've lived in Gainesville basically their entire life. How did y'all, how did y'all explain it to them and what was their reaction? Because that's been their home for probably the bulk of their life. Yeah, seven years. Our oldest is, um, is, is 14, so um, they had a great experience there. They did, and the community was really good to my wife and kids, uh, specifically the Queen of Peace community. Um, I'll forever be grateful, uh, Kira and I both. Um, there was some excitement. There's some reservation, too. What are we going to do with our gator gear? Oh, my. We're not going there. Um, you, you know, I give it to my friend and... and Maybe, maybe that one said, hey, let's go to Goodwill, and how do we go to the press conference without some, some red and black and white, and can I get some new gear? You know, After they went to the bookstore today, we got them. They're geared up. <laughs> we got stuffed animals and backpacks and hats and sweatshirts, and they're, uh, they're really, really fired up. Hey, Mike, Connor Riley, Dog Nation. You mentioned filling out your staff. What sort of traits are you looking for in building a coaching staff, and what do you want to instill in this team going forward? A toughness, togetherness, again, accountability. Uh, it, in, in our sport, what's really unique is, is 13 scholarship players, whether or not you, you've, you've got 15 or 16 on a team, it depends. Um, can you get that entire roster, or at least most, to sell out to winning above all. It's something that, that um, we all struggle with in our sport. You know, there's five guys in the court, only one guy can be touching the basketball, only one guy's gonna get a shot, that possession. Five are gonna start, who's gonna come off the bench? There's only gonna be one leading score. How do you get guys to sell out to either that university and that name across the front of the chest, right? or to each other, to the love for one another, to win above all else. Um, those are things that we'll continue to preach here as, as I have in my last couple stops. Um, we all have split second opportunities to make the right play offensively and defensively throughout a 40 minute game. There's hundreds of them. And in, in, in the, old, the old cliche, and, and, and guys don't wanna hear it quite as much, a little bit more harsh to hear is, is, is do your job, right? The old Bill Belichick, you, we're going to have split-second jobs throughout the game, and that's, a, that's accountability, and we talk about that a lot. Did you block out or not? Did you close out with high hands or not? Did you sprint back and communicate or not? Um, and, and we're going to practice doing that at a high level every single day. Um, kind of a snapshot of some of the things that, that you know, we'll preach to team. Uh, what are we looking for in staff? The first part of your question guys that can recruit, guys that can coach, guys that can connect, good teammates with one another, above all else, great mentors, great people that represent this place, that will help mentor these young men into the potential leaders that, that, that these guys could, can, can, can become, and obviously uh, mentoring young men into men. I think that's it for questions. I think that'll conclude the press portion of it. Go dogs. Thank you, Dog Nation, and welcome once again to Athens head men's basketball coach, Mike White. Thank you guys so much. Go dogs. Thank you guys. Thank you once again for your attendance today. Please drive home safely, and as always, go down!